Unemployment applications in Ohio hit an all-time high today. More than 855,000 claims in the past four weeks. That is more than the last two years combined. And today we learned the money allocated to help small businesses has all been spent. Here is consumer investigator Danielle Serino. We have stopped taking applications because at this point it's fruitless. Stunning news Thursday from the Small Business Association. The $349 billion from the government in emergency lending is gone. So small business owners who haven't yet applied may never see a dime. The only ones that may get relief are those whose applications are pending. We did more loans in two weeks, i.e. 14 days, than we did in 14 years combined. Wow. We literally did more applications in two weeks than we have done as an agency since we were founded in 1963. It's a blow that's destroying the dreams of Valerie Ross and her partner, Hannah Smith, who owns Sits and Wiggles Pet Care and Training. We had probably lost from cancellations at least 50% of our pet care clients. My training business, I probably went from 20 appointments a week down to maybe five. It's also sinking the lifeboat their employees were hanging on to, hoping they'd reopen. You see, they're considered independent contractors who aren't entitled to unemployment. It's the same for small business owners like Cecilia Florence of The Nail Nook, some of whom are also considered independent contractors. I think it sucks. I think that for people that are hardworking, such as myself, to be unemployed with no resources, I thank God that I have a husband that is actively working because if he wasn't, I don't know what I would do. The government announced this week they're changing that policy so independent contractors can get help. But because our unemployment system is so antiquated and has to be updated to accommodate these workers, it could be months before any of them see a check. And some say they don't know how they'll survive during the wait unless Congress comes up with more money. It's a very scary time for us. We're also really grieving the loss of our company. Danielle Serino. This is something that we spent many years dreaming of. Three News.